So EMDR is eye movement desensitization reprocessing. That's what the EMDR stands for. It's a therapy that was invented by Francine Shapiro in the late 80s. And it is a therapy that um, I am trained in, certified in, becoming a consultant um, in, in the EMDR world. Approved consultant is sort of a, where you are then able to um, consult with other therapists who are looking for help with their EMDR cases. So um, I am a big believer in EMDR, a big believer in how it can help addicts as well. Um, just the sort of brief introduction uh, to it is that EMDR was invented or was seen as a therapy for, and most of the evidence base that we have for it at this point is as a therapy for PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. And that is because uh, Dr. Shapiro, um, when she found uh, the efficacy of it, she worked with her first research um, people that she worked with were uh, people who had been through severe trauma, and she found the therapy worked, and the evidence base over time has shown that therapy works for people who have been through severe traumatic experiences. And what it does is, uh, you know, one, one way of looking at it is it takes the traumatic events out of the more primitive parts of the brain, and it allows the more, uh, the smarter parts of the brain or the um, higher developed parts of the brain to uh, to receive the information and be, and make the memory uh, more uh, it, it's adaptively processed instead of maladaptively processed. And the way that this can help addicts, one way, number one, is that most addicts have been through trauma. If they weren't through trauma as a kid, they went through plenty of trauma in their using days. And so uh, finding a way to heal a person's trauma would uh, is ha, has been seen to be uh, a great way of helping them with their addiction. I found it really effective to a lot of people who are chronic relapsers. Uh, the reason why they're chronically relapsing is that they have um, unhealed trauma. So that if through EMDR we're able to get to and heal some of that trauma, um, then we find that people are able to, to uh, get and stay sober. And then the other way EMDR can help is that uh, over the years a number of great clinicians have developed other protocols to work with uh, different populations, particularly uh, a couple have been developed that are for working directly with addicts. And uh, what they do is they uh, these protocols help the addict to reduce their urges um, specifically so that perhaps we can get to trauma work later, but first we're going to make it so that you're not um, fiending for drugs all the time. And the um, uh, another one is called the feeling state protocol, uh, which uh, where um, addicts are, uh, we sort of um, work with that feeling state that people get at the very beginning of their using where it really, really works and try to sort of uh, remove that re euphoric recall, for lack of a better term. It's not removed, it's not surgery. Um, but I, I guess uh, my experience with EMDR particularly is that uh, it's been really helpful in my practice for addicts across the board um, you know, when it's appropriate, when it's uh, the right therapy for somebody um, to deal with their trauma, to deal with their urges, to deal with the other um, problems that they might have, certain phobias or um, difficulties with panic attacks, um, anything that goes towards healing any of those other issues that people have that drive their addiction is going to be something that's going to help.